Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So game one is over between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Indiana Pacers. And I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback and your opinions of the game in the comment section below. But I'm going to let you guys know how I feel. The game literally just ended like maybe three or four minutes ago. But I'm going to let you guys know how I felt. Now, I did believe... Cleveland will win the series. I still do believe that Cleveland will win this series, but I was a little surprised about how well the Indiana Pacers played, and it's a little naive of me because the Pacers played Cleveland very well this season. However, in their three wins against Cleveland this year, it all came before January 12th, so literally, they did not win after the trade deadline where Cleveland got a whole new team essentially. So we really didn't know how these new look Cavs will match up with the Indiana Pacers. And I thought maybe experience and you have LeBron James that will carry you throughout the series. I still believe LeBron James will still carry the Cavs through this series. And I still think they will win this series. I don't think they have a lot to worry about. And I will explain why. Now, Cleveland, they struggled offensively. And that is definitely a huge, um, huge problem for them but I think it's something they can definitely bounce back from they really didn't shoot the ball well and when you shoot the ball that poorly you are going to lose a lot of games they shot 38 percent from the field shot 23 percent from the three-point line so eight to 34 especially when you're a team that essentially lives and dies by the three-pointer like you don't think about it that much from Cleveland but they're one of the league's best three-point shooting teams and when you shoot that poorly you're definitely going to lose a lot of games but the reason why I don't think it's a huge issue because they got a lot of the shots that they actually wanted, and that is huge. The Pacers did play great defense. One thing I did like from the Pacers, they hustled way more than Cleveland. You can see that. That definitely helps that stood out, in my opinion, is the hustle points from Cleveland. But, I mean, from the Pacers, excuse me. But Cleveland, they got a lot of the shots that they wanted, and they really didn't give up a lot of open looks from the Pacers either. So, I do like that. I think at some point, they will start knocking down the shots. Hopefully, game two, they'll start knocking down some of their shots. And then, of course, we'll have a game. Late in the third quarter, they did exactly that. They started knocking down some of their shots, and they definitely cut into that deficit a lot. Then a lot of fans started thinking, hey, maybe Cleveland's going to come back. But then the Pacers showed a lot of resiliency, especially Victor Oladipo. He had a fantastic game, putting up, what, 32 points today. Uh, and I think he definitely led the way for him. I like the minutes that Lance Stevenson came, gave off of the bench. Only played 17 minutes, but he had a very impactful 17 minutes on the court. And I like Lance Stevenson a lot. Definitely, he could hurt you sometimes. But the way that he plays, especially in the playoffs, he's kind of built for playoff situations. He plays with that dog in him, and I definitely like that dog in that type of player, like a competitive spirit. And Lance Stevenson is going to give you that all the time. You're not going to see the lack of effort, especially in a playoff series. During the regular season, you will see sometimes where he's not giving 100%, and he will kind of bother you at points. But during the playoffs, He's going to play hard, especially against LeBron James. You know he wants to show out in that series. So he did just that. Played 17 minutes, gave you 12 points, had a lot of energy coming off of the bench. I definitely like that. J.R. Smith, he had a pretty good game. He had 15 points coming off the bench. Played 29 total minutes, and I like that role. I know a lot of people now are saying that J.R. Smith should be in the starting lineup. I still don't think that. J.R. Smith is a rhythm shooter. I like him coming off the bench when the other team's second unit is on so he could catch that rhythm, and then you could just play him starting minutes I just prefer him coming off of the bench initially and then trying to catch that rhythm instead of trying to catch that rhythm with LeBron and everybody else is still trying to catch the rhythm as well so I think J.R. Smith should continue to come off the bench but 29 minutes it was huge for J.R. had 15 points the second most points on the team Kevin Love didn't have it tonight on the points aspect of it but 17 rebounds, he played well, he did a lot of hustle hustle points as well for Cleveland. He just really didn't have the points that you would expect Kevin Love to have, especially now that you're the clear-cut number two guy. You do need to get more points moving forward. But I still think Cleveland will win this series. I was impressed, though, by the Indiana Pacers, especially Victor Oladipo as well. Lance Stevenson, um, Bogdanovich had a good game as well. Um, and, yeah, um, Darren Collison really didn't impress me too much in this one. Had an off game to me. Hopefully he does bounce back and he has a better game moving forward. But you guys, let me know your guys' thoughts on game one. Did the Indiana Pacers shock you? Did you believe they will win all along? And do you think Cleveland is out of this series? Or do you think they can come back and still win? Me, myself, I still think Cleveland will win this series in six games. But you guys, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.